universe just exploded. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, the Superstar! Here's someone who has faced some tough odds and tougher opponents, but always gives it their all. Look, I, I know you think that's a good thing, but this person could learn a thing or two about the value of running and hiding. Oh, uh, yes, the value of being a coward. Six foot four, 350 pounds of rage. And his opponent from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga! In his time, one of the most feared superstars around. In his time? How about right now? If you don't fear Umaga, you gotta screw loose. The most dangerous Samoan competitor in the history of WWE. And that is saying a lot. Guys, we have a superstar that is molded to be the next big thing. While he might be molded, he can still use a little refining. If he can harness that potential, we're looking at the next big thing. Sure, a little rough around the edges, Corey, but there's something that comes with time and experience. And then you've got Umaga, a guy who doesn't say much, in English at least, but whose terrifying offense speaks volumes. Yeah, he can do it here. And a kick out of two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Jeez. Oh my gosh! The better part of Valor. Into the ring again. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. He turns it around on Umaga. Point of the elbow finds the mark. It's obvious that Umaga's size and strength are his biggest assets here. Corey, is that going to be enough for him to get the win here tonight? Cole, one thing people seem to miss or underestimate about a super heavyweight like Umaga is his impressive athleticism. When you're a man that size and move with the speed and agility that Umaga does, you're always in a very advantageous position. Overwhelming offense now from Umaga. Like I was saying before, Umaga finding a way to use those impressive athletics of his to gain the upper hand. Into a dragon screw leg whip. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Boom! Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Oh, the death lock applied. Submission move. This is how you punish your opponent. What the leg? Look at this. He just tossed the leg. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Uh, please don't remind me, Corey. Sit in, sit out, power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Big time move coming up. And he's able to reverse. Round and round into the satellite DDT. He's getting a little batter now.
right on point. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, Rams face first. This could do it. And he hits the shoulder up before two. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Uh-oh. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. Six one nine. A nasty splash. Goes into the pin. Two. He gets the shoulder up at two. Wow. Maybe not. Maybe not. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Pow! What a shot. Can he do it here? And he breaks the count quickly. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Oh, stiff headbutt. Devastating elbow. Here it comes! Solid spike! Did Umaga just finish this? Hangs on by a thread! There was almost all over, almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. And I think we all know this is only going to make a monster like Umaga even angrier. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and down, into the DDT! Drop kick to the knee, that's great strategy. And Umaga on the receiving end of that attack. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Umaga with a retaliation. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Blast off. Splash. Umaga looks out of it. That's got to be it. There's two. Oh, he kicked out. If a kick out like that isn't a wake-up call as to the kind of monster, the kind of beast that Umaga is, I don't know what is. The next big move might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? Oh, no. Did you hear the thud? Uh-oh, sunset, flip, powerbomb! I don't know if Umaga can withstand much more of this. Yeah, somehow Umaga has to turn the tide. And that's an attack that must hurt Umaga even more at this point. Umaga's fought through a lot, but he could be waning at this point. Measured knee drop. Ooh. There's a snapmare delivered and goes down low with the drop kick. A ah, jumping stop to the gut. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Boom! He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this. Set up for a second time. Moved out of the way. Nobody home. Using the elbow as a weapon. We've seen epic battles before, but this is going toward a whole nother level. These competitors just keep raising the stakes, keep pushing their limits. Umaga heads up. This is going to be net from the top. Oh, my gosh. Just crashing down with high impact. Grabbing a hold of the arm. All the weight down. Able to avoid any harm there. Into the DDT. Thrown back in under the ropes. Taking off from the ropes. Will it be?
Umaga enraged by the result of this one, furious over this loss. I'm pretty sure this is only going to make Umaga more dangerous next time he's in a ring. So good luck with that.